HCC continued a celebration of Black History Month at its Missouri City campus with a presentation on the Buffalo Soldiers. Student Life Coordinator Regina Wilson tells us more on the presentation and what she wanted students to learn. Well, today we were featuring uh, representatives from the Buffalo Soldiers. Um, we wanted to share with our students today about the Buffalo Soldiers history and um, also give them the opportunity to ask questions of uh, the Buffalo Soldiers representatives. So basically we wanted our students to uh, find out about the Buffalo Soldiers, being that we have a Buffalo Soldiers Museum here in town, um, to know what their participation was in the war and also know about the historical markings here in town because we have them real close to us and some of us don't even know about it. African Americans have fought in military conflicts since colonial days. However, the Buffalo Soldiers, comprised of former slaves, freedmen, and black Civil War soldiers, were the first to serve during peacetime. This was just a small sample of information Trooper Charles Williams taught those in attendance. Whatever they were doing. And in, 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 in Texas in 18, if you call for help in 1869, you're going to get the Ninth Cavalry and they want to come. Now, well, I, I think uh, uh, the real significance of knowing the Buffalo Soldier history is to reconnect with some of our heroes that were lost due to history. Um, in telling the story of the Buffalo Soldier, <clears throat> you're talking about a, a group of men uh, who persevered under the harshest of conditions, but yet they, uh, they thrived and they pursued excellence. And through hard work, uh, including study, uh, they began to perform uh, at outstanding levels. Um, and so we, we salute the Buffalo Soldiers because all of the units that followed after those men uh, actually stood on their shoulders, such as the Tuskegee Airmen or the 555th uh, Paratrooper uh, Battalion, such as the 761st Tank Battalion. Those are all famous African-American fighting groups um, whose story is, has, is, has yet to be told. Uh, but the significance of the Tuskegee Airmen, one of excellence, is exactly the same as the Buffalo Soldiers who first appeared on American West as professional soldiers. During a time where racism and segregation was almost law in America, not just in the military, African Americans still wanted to join the military. Well, I think one of the principal reasons that African Americans signed up for the military was to show uh, or to prove that they were just as good as any other man if given the opportunity to do so. And you have to remember that the Buffalo Soldiers only came uh, into existence after the Civil War because um, prior to the Civil War, uh, African Americans were prohibited from serving as professional soldiers in the military. But all that changed after the Civil War. Uh, they were given the opportunity to enlist in the military, thus becoming professional soldiers. Mm -hmm. Trooper Williams also informed us on just where the name Buffalo Soldiers originated. Hey, uh, it's quite interesting how the Buffalo Soldiers got their name, but <clears throat> there's several um, there's several stories, um, and some will call them legends, some will call them myths. Um, but in terms of the research that we've conducted at the museum, uh, we determined that the nickname came uh, from a Native American tribe uh, called the Cheyenne that the 10th Cavalry encountered up on the High Plains in around 1867. As a result of the, of the skirmishes uh, with the Native Americans called Cheyenne, that was the name of the tribe, uh, the Cheyenne referred to them as wild buffalo, primarily because they were, those black soldiers reminded them of, their, of the buffalo. Uh, some hair of 
of African-American males, reminding them of the mane of the buffalo. And their fighting ability, is, they thought it was very fierce and it reminded them of the buffalo. Uh, fierceness when cornered uh, or they were trying to, um, when it was protecting his young and stuff like that. They saw the same uh, two traits, the, the appearance uh, and the fierceness and the fighting, those two things together, uh, you know, coined the phrase wild buffalo. Now, buffalo soldier soon after that would become a generic name to describe all African American soldiers, whether or not if they were cavalry or infantry. For HCC Beat, I'm John Davis. Thank you.